so this is our robot arm. This is our training that we go through with our monkeys as they go through and try to learn how to use this robot. So they're using um, brain signals, so signals from their motor cortex that we um, pull out of, of wires into our system and our computers then um, decode what it is that, that the monkey is intending to do and uh, drive the end point of this arm forward and backward and around through space. The monkeys have brain control over this robotic arm to uh, move it forward and grab a piece of fruit as it's presented and then bring it back to their mouth uh, to feed themselves. Incredible as it may seem, these monkeys learned to feed themselves with a robot arm that was being directly controlled by their brains, as if it was simply part of them. If a monkey could produce those signals without the need of moving, a human being in the future that cannot move could think about moving, and somehow this type of technology one day could uh, help him or her enact the movements that she can no longer or he can no longer produce. That, that, that realization was instantaneous, you know, because you could see movement being generated, generated by the brain, sending 300 milliseconds to a robotic device without any muscle contraction happening. And, and the goal of the behavior was being achieved.